Hey what's up guys Rahul here from Gizmo Byte and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of PlayStation Portable Emulator on your iOS devices. This is compatible with devices running iOS 10 and iOS 9 to 9.3.5 as well. This also works on the latest iOS 10.0.2 and even the new iPhone 7 and 7 Plus along with the iPads and the iPod Touch as well. No jailbreak is required for this method but you can do it even on your jailbroken devices as this method is universal. Along with that, I'll also be showing you how to import the games, that is the ROMs, and also fix and play games that are protected. Meaning, if you download the pirated ROM, then it will not allow you to play the game, and it will chuck you right out. For example, Final Fantasy Crisis Core. I'm going to show you how to force start it and play it without any problems. So let's begin. You will need a Windows PC or a Mac and iTunes installed in it for this to work. And I want you to head over to the first link in the description, which will take you to this page. From here, download Cydia Impactor for your respective operating system. We'll use this to install the IPA file. Now hit the second link in the description and download the latest PSP emulator v1.1.1. As a free user, if there are redirects, then get back and download as a free user. Next, hit the third link in the description and download iExplorer. We're going to use iExplorer to put the ROMs and save files onto the iOS device. Now hit the fourth link in the description to get to the ROMs. It will take you to freeroms.com. Head over to the PSP section and you can search for your favorite games alphabetically. I'm going to install the Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai and also Crisis Core which will be a separate link in the description as well and you will have to wait for the countdown which will reveal the direct download link once it's done. Last but not the least, download the save file for Crisis Core to force start the game from the 6th link in the description. Now get all those files together and save them on your desktop to make your job easy. You will have to extract the Cydia Impactor file which will reveal an impactor.exe file and you will also have to install the iExplorer software from the setup file you just downloaded. Now, connect your iOS device to the computer and open impactor.exe file. Do not run it as admin. You'll get a little window and it will recognize your iOS device in the upper section. Now, all you have to do is drag and then drop the PPSSPP IPA onto the impactor window. Now you need to enter a valid Apple ID. It's a hundred percent safe, and Impactor will be signing the app under your email ID. After that, just hit Enter, and Impactor will do the rest. You might have to press OK for an upcoming warning, and you'll see that PPSSPP will eventually pop up on your iOS device. That's how simple it is. Obviously, while first running the app, you'll get an untrusted developer warning. So head over to Settings, General. profiles and device management or just device management depending on your device and trust the app signed under the email address you just used now you can open up the app now kill the app in the background as it is time to install the games it goes without saying that you have to keep the device connected to the computer run i explorer on the left hand menu hit apps double click on pp sspp then double click documents and you will see this psp folder Now extract the ROMs you just downloaded that is extract the ISO file from the RAR file. Once you've done that just drag them and drop them right beside the PSP folder not into it just underneath it. Let's do the same for DBZ as well. Once done now click on the PSP folder and you will see a system folder. This is where you're going to put all your save files. For the purpose of this video I'm going to put the save file for Crisis Core. You may do it for any other save file that you may find online. Now extract the save file from RAR and it will reveal a folder called PSP. Open that, double click on memory stick, then double click into PSP and you will find a save data folder. Drag that save data folder and drop it underneath system. Now you're good to go. Let's just load up the emulator. As you can see both the games have showed up on the front screen. If by any chance they don't show up, kill the app and restart it again and for the worst case scenario just restart the device itself and they will show up. Let's start with Dragon Ball Z. Well, it works perfectly. If you want to save the game, hit the upward facing arrow and just tap save state. And obviously you can load it anytime by pressing load state. Now let's exit and start up Final Fantasy Crisis Core. Obviously we want to hit load game now. And this is the save file we just imported. Load it up and now you're in without any hiccups and of course you can overwrite it with your own save file and it will work permanently. Now if your device struggles a little while in the emulator, I leave a bunch of settings in the description of the video for the emulator which will be copied from my device. I recommend that you run this emulator on a 64-bit Apple device only as it is a demanding emulator. 
Well, that's been it for this video guys. Hit the thumbs up button if this video helped you out and share it with your friends and family as well. Subscribe for amazing content like this. If you have any queries, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.